loves, what's up? It's Christina Giselle. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I post videos on motherhood and lifestyle. And today I'm going to be going over my baby girl's 11th month update. I'm going to be talking about her development and all the cool new things she's been doing in her 11 months of life. So if you're into watching baby updates, continue to watch. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys that my baby has been doing is she started walking up her walker. I'm so excited that she finally took her first steps, even if it was with a walker. She actually used her VTEC walker, which she gets to stand and move with. So she was able to get her first steps and now she just walks all around the house. So I know she'll be walking on her own really soon. The second thing that she's been doing is she went from always taking down her books and like throwing them on the floor and now she's taking her books and actually putting them back. She like became like a little organized baby where everything she does throw down, she takes her books, she puts it back. If she takes things out of a basket or a bucket, she takes them and she's putting them back in the bucket. So she has become a little organized baby. <laughs> the third thing my baby has been doing is she's been cruising all over the house curling like crazy like she was last month. But now she is officially starting to like cruise on the couch and hold on to things and start taking little steps sideways. So she's definitely on her way to be walking and she's using objects to be able to learn how to do it. So it has just become the most adorable thing just watching her hold on to things and be able to take those little steps here and there. The fourth thing my baby's been doing is she has been mimicking all the little sounds that we do. So if we make a funny or a silly little sound, she starts mimicking it. If we do like a little kiss, she'll mimic it. Everything that we do in front of her, if she thinks it's funny, she just starts to mimic it. So I think that is something that I've never actually seen a baby do and I think it's pretty funny that she does it. The fifth thing that she is doing constantly is she says mama all day Long. She started saying mom and mama for a while now, but now it's become so clear. Like she wakes up from her sleep and she says mama, she sees me, she says mama. I think she even starts seeing seeing other people and she just gets excited and she says mama. So it's just really cute for her to be able to have that not only be her first word, but something she just gets so excited about every time she sees me. The sixth thing that my baby is doing is she just loves eating. I have discovered that her favorite food is pasta. Like she eats pasta nonstop. Now she is half Italian. I'm Puerto Rican and Haitian and my husband is Italian. So it's like in her blood to like pasta, but her, that has become her favorite food of all. And it's so cute to watch her eat pasta and get super messy. She loves pasta, she loves pizza. She really has explored different foods and textures and that has definitely become her favorite food lately. The seventh thing that my 11th month old is doing is she finally found cabinets. Oh goodness. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen so fast but she figured it out. She knows how to open and close them and she figured out like how to try to grab items in there so I have officially baby proofed my cabinets. I made sure to buy some safety little locks and I try even tried the magnetic locks. I wasn't too successful with that but making sure I'm taking precautions so she doesn't get in the cabinets because she figured it out. So the eighth thing that my baby has figured out how to do is she learned how to climb up stairs, supervised of course, but after her crawling over to the staircase and trying to stand on them, I assisted her in being able to climb up them. And I think it's really good for you to do that with your baby so they can get strength within their legs. So she figured out how to climb the stairs. She thinks it was on her own, but I was behind her making sure that she did not fall and it was just the cutest little thing to watch. But I do have a gate so she's not able to do it on her own, but it's really cool to be able to allow them to experience and learn how to climb stairs on their own now. The ninth thing that my baby has figured out how to do is she opens and closes doors. So it's kind of like the cabinet, but it's different because she has she figured out how to open her little playpen door and like lock me in there and open it up. She thinks it's the funniest thing when she opens the door and closes it, as well as she figured out how to close her bedroom door, which I was not too happy about when she first did. So I have to keep an eye on her when she is in there, but she figured out how to open and close doors and she understands the concept of being able to close them and realize that she's like locked in there because I remember her closing the door for the first time and then she started saying mom, like she was kind of like freaking out that she was alone. So 
but it is really cool that she's able to do that now. I just gotta make sure that I'm always watching over her. And the 10th thing that my baby has figured out how to do in 11 months of life is she's seeing syllables. She has learned to say ah and ba, and her new thing is ka. So even though she's only seeing one word, specifically mama now, she is seeing a whole bunch of syllables and just trying to practice how to say words and you know make different sounds. So I make sure to read to her every day and I make sure to accentuate each word that I am reading to her that she so she could learn to slowly pick up on the syllables and the sounds of each word. So it's really exciting and I do hope that she continues to pick that up and she can add more words to her vocabulary. The 11th thing that my baby girl is doing now is she's learned to take items and be able to not only put them from hand to hand, but she'll take one from each hand and she'll just start smacking them around. So she's really learned how to just master holding things and, and just, you know, figuring out that if I put this item next to this item and I hit them together they're going to make a sound and she just gets so excited and thinks it's the funniest little thing that I'm so excited that my baby has figured out how to do in her 11 months of life is clap she finally has learned how to clap and it's the cutest little thing she actually was practicing with me because I knew that at, a, at this stage she should be clapping and she finally picked it up. I just started clapping and singing songs like if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands and just reinforcing it. And now when you say clap, she actually just starts to clap her little hands and it's so cute. I try to, we try to do it so that we're doing to the beat. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And she's really mastered clapping. As well as she's also starting to understand if I tell her to go get a book, she gets a book. If I tell her to clap her hands, she claps her hands. So she's starting to understand what things are and understand the concept of things. So if I tell her to go get something and she knows what it is, she will go get it and bring bring it to me and if I tell her hey if I ask her do you want me to read this read you a book she'll get a book and bring it to me so all those things are so exciting and I'm so happy to be able to share all these updates that my 11 month old Angelina has experienced and developed just remember that every baby is different and whether your baby is on the same development as my baby or already doing all these things previously or they haven't done it at all just know that your baby will slowly start to do these things and every baby is on a different level of development because every baby is unique in their own way. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this development video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can find out when I post my next video. I love sharing these development videos with you guys as well as I love allowing you guys to be part of my family and see my baby girl grow up slowly. So I'll see you guys in the next video.